Get a good shape. Yeah, you want to keep your shape that you've already cut. Okay, so what we got here is your 3D veil, which is uh, all the rage right now. Um, but as you can see, these leaves that they have tied in only give minimal amount of 3D effect. I mean, they can call it 3D because it is 3D, but it, the stuff does not work. As you can see, the outline's got very sharp shapes. There's no blending. And the 3D effect is uh, extremely minimal. Go now, on. here we have what Bruce has been working on. So as you can see, the 3D effect is a lot more effective. You can see the blending process, where you see light and the color of the background actually passing through this uh, material. So you have a lot of uh, blend right here. And then as you get closer to his head, you can see that it gets darker and that more of that material overlaps. You can see you got this big bushy effect where the space between the head and the shoulders has been completely filled out, kind of giving him a mounded, rounded look. You can see there's still netting left here, um, still areas to put more of the synthetic leaf or burlap, whatever you're going to use. Here's another version. Um, it's kind of basically the British sniper veil that we showed you. So the front element is the same cut that we used before. However, the back piece, as you can see, is extremely long. Also, it has more of a shoulder area extended out. So with this, you're going to have your torso camouflaged. You're going to have your head and the back of the head. And then you're going to have the whole back area so that you can camouflage uh, your entire back down to your, uh, your behind. And so this will fit over a backpack or whatever. And we also put a little drawstring around the rim so that if you want to really tighten your aperture, you can, or you can leave it large. And with the drawstring, if you open it up all the way, then you can take it off your head. So we're going to show you the diagram for this right now. So the dimensions are, from the shoulders, it's three feet. comes into 16 inches and it rounds off to about 21 inches high. And this is going to be the front piece that we're going to cut. The back piece is also going to be this area, but it's going to extend all the way down to here. So it will extend to about 40, 41 inches long. Now if you want this extra long, if you want it to go down to the back of your leg, then you're going to add, you know, another, say, 18 inches. So we're going to cut out our netting so we can start working. Right up there. All right. So I'm first going to cut the front element. So here's the front piece. It doesn't have to be exact, but it should be close. And then, we're going to cut <coughs> the back piece. Now we're going to take the top part element, right here. Gonna match it up. And just like uh, the British sniper veil, we're gonna take our camouflage material, whether it be burlap string or the synthetic leaves, and start tying it around the edge, combining these two pieces of netting. So we've done our initial tie job. And we got this here. Thanks, bud. 
Like, but... Okay, so you see that it comes down to about a sternum. Covers the uh, shoulders. You turn around. It comes down in the back. So we're going to start tying in the whole suit. If you turn around one more time. And now we're going to cut the face hole. And you can either cut a little area just for your face peeking through, or you can cut a larger area and then have a, a, one of those shock cords going around the edge of your cut so that you can cinch it if you like. So this hole is going to be wide enough, just wide enough, you can get your head through. Can you get your head through there? Yep. Good, perfect. All right, we'll take that off. While well, these yeah. guys are tying in, I'm going to do uh, the cinch cord for the face. I'm going to find the bottom. This is the top of the head. This is right here at the nap of the neck. I'm going to start here. I'm pull the way through. <laughs> See what happens? I'm going to pull the way through. I'm going to tie this so it doesn't do what it just did. And then I'm going to work my way, weaving in and out the holes of the last bit of netting. So I've come around, full circle. I've untied my knot. So I've got now both, both cords here at the base. Now, you can either tie it off right here with the size hole you like, or you can get these little jobbies. You thread it through, pull through on each side. Make sure you, when you get these little plastic things that they're going to actually work with uh, the cord you got. So if that through, then I'm going to tie off each end in a little teeny overhand knot. Since down that side, since down the side, so this way I'm assured that it's not going to come back out through. full body version of the things that we've been doing. Um, it's complete body coverage. Um, it's got camouflage on the front, so it's definitely not for a low crawl, you know, stock. This is definitely for a, a walking deal. <laughs> there he is. So you can see it's uh, pretty much uh, down past the knees, but uh, you can, of course, cut the net so it goes longer, or you can tie more burlap and to the very end, let it hang down. Um, if you put your arms out, see it's full arm coverage. Um, you see it's hanging loose here. Uh, what we recommend is getting a little bit of that shock cord or that elastic material, and once again, thread it through the fishnet so it has kind of a, like a nice little tight fit. Once again, uh, you got your face aperture here. And the back we have not tied yet, if you turn around. And put your arms out. You can see pretty much the cut you should be getting with this uh, netting. It's two identical pieces. You're going to cut two pieces out of netting. Uh, they're going to be identical in shape. Um, right here, we've got the arm length at exactly four feet. But these have been chopped off. So you're going to want to go, depending on how long your arms are, you're probably going to want to go another foot on each side. So you've got six feet extending out. So these lines will extend out another foot on each side. We have an arm width right here of about nine inches. Uh, you might want to go uh, 10 inches to be safe. For the torso, we have 20 inches. But if uh, you've got a bigger frame, you might want to go, say, to 24 inches. 
the whole height of this pattern is 65 inches. Um, so if, if you're five foot ten, uh, this netting should go just to your knees. If you want.